Hey everyone, this is Eric with EKP, and here we are showing the turn signal ducts. Now, these turn signal ducts are intended to be used for your intake system or braking system, depending on what model you have. This model I have here is a 90 to 91 Honda CRX. That's what I'm showing here. But I'll be also making ducts for the 88 to 89 model, CRX, Civic, and sedan, excluding the wagon. Unfortunately, I don't have any ducts for the 90 to 91 hatch at the moment, but those will be coming soon. So these ducts, of course, are for intake systems. But as you can see here, if we pan over to the 8889 model, this is the one we're working, working on right now. This is a racing style version with no LED lights. Um, this is going to be intended to use for braking systems only because there's no lower duct at the moment for this model. As we go back to the LED types, there's going to be two LED types offered for the 9091 model specifically. Here we have a single LED bulb. This is an SAE approved bulb that's amber, that's typically used. And next we have a sequential LED, which is kind of more stylish, but it has a little bit of disadvantage with flow, and we'll show you those details later. These systems are plug and play systems, and we'll get into all these details in a minute. All right, here's my disclaimer. Now these ducts are intended for off-road use only. These do not replace your OEM equipment because these are not DOT approved. These LED lights are not as bright as your OEM equipment and especially in direct sunlight, you will see a lack of performance due to no illumination housing because of the air duct is in place of that. And at the end of this video, I'll be showing you the turn signal action. I'll be showing you the sequential LED and then the single LED to show you the lighting difference in the shade and in the sun. All right guys, let's get into the details of design and airflow of these ducts and the intent of how they're used. So these are intended mainly for your intake system or your braking system. Now for your 9091 models, I recommend intake because these ducts are bigger, um, allowing just more airflow to be made. Um, unfortunately with the 8889, uh, it is a smaller duct and I only recommend for braking. Um, the nice thing about the 9091 models is that we have air ducts readily available for brakes. So one thing you want to notice is that if you're using a single LED bulb, you're going to get more volume of air coming into the intake system or braking system. Um, with a sequential LED style, you're going to be receiving less air. So that's one major difference. In terms of installation, it is very easy, but in order to fit a 3-inch hose, 2.5-inch hose, you're going to need an adapter, as shown here. And these adapters are really nice because they just fit on, and yeah, let's show you how those fit on. All right, let's get into the adapters. So the adapters are intended to be used for three inch to two and a half inch hoses because those hoses cannot fit through the front of your bumper. So these are intended to be installed from the backside or underneath your car. And I'll show you how to do that in a sec here. But just quickly on how they work, you're gonna see here the top side. Now these top side, there is a top side of this because these have a slight kink to it just to avoid some structure on the car. In terms of installation, it's very simple. They're very tightly tolerant. You're just gonna take your duct and basically just kind of snap it in. It's really tight, but you can get in there, see? And I recommend using some silicone just as an extra, as an extra sealant, basically. Um, but it's going to be really, really tight, so that's good. And simple as that. And the nice thing about these is that you could run a really big hose on your air duct. But also keep in mind that this circumference right here does match a 3-inch inlet, which is really nice because you're still going to get the same volume of flow through the front end of the car. So let's show you how to install this on the car. All right, guys, installation is very, very simple on this. All you need is a screwdriver and then the OEM mounting screw from your original turn signal. So first, just take your electronics, if you have any, plug it in, and take your alignment teeth and go ahead and fish that in. Now, this is the only difference here. If you have an adapter on yours, you're going to go ahead and leave this unscrewed. If you do not have an adapter, go ahead and screw it down and you're done. But let me show you how to install the adapter. So first, you can check up your car, remove any undershrouding, and then you take your adapter and kind of fish it through the bottom here. And then next, you're going to take your duct and kind of support it with your hand. And this could be, it's going to be a little bit tight, so you just have to kind of work it, be very patient. There you go. And now it's attached, and then go ahead and take your screw. And of course, that would just end up like OEM. And then, because this is a C-clip on a slider, you can kind of center this a little bit, back and forth depending if you need to or not. Go ahead very lightly, torque that down. There you go. And then you have your three inch hose right here. And you can access your hose, like so you can see my hose here. I'm just going ahead and mount that up and attach that there, and I'm done. And that's it. All right, so let me show you how the uh, 8889 works. It's the exact same way, honestly. It just kind of goes in like 
normal. Um, you're just gonna pivot it in, push it in, screw it in, you'll be done. So in terms of availability, I will have also driver sides available. I'm not running a driver side only because this is only gonna be used for the intake system on my end, but if you're using brakes, you'll get a mirrored side as well, no problem. And you'll get a discount if you order two, which is nice. Um, something like this will not have an adapter because it's only used for brakes as well, making installation a little bit easier for you. And this one's just a prototype version for now, but these will be all black. Here's compared to normal signal. You can see the disadvantage there. That's why it's recommended to run corners if you run the sequential LED strip. There is a compromise, unfortunately. But otherwise, it looks pretty good.